As a chiropractor, I also need to point out that whenever a problem's occurring in a particular area, so let's say it's in the shoulder, we, we want to look upstream of that. By upstream, what I'm talking about is if your shoulder's here, upstream is somewhere up through here. Now, in terms of the chiropractic uh, philosophy and approach and understanding of the way the body works, your brain's running your body and your brain sends mental impulses carried through your nervous system to all the cells, all the tissues, all the organs of your entire body. So with regard to the muscle function, tone, uh, and, and performance really of the whole shoulder rotator cuff muscle group, well, the shoulder muscles are receiving signals that are coming out from nerves that exit through the lower half of your neck. In conjunction with looking at the neck, something upstream from the shoulder with a shoulder issue, the way I would approach it is also look at the overall posture someone's, someone's carrying. If there's a degree of roundedness through their upper thoracic spine, their head's coming forward, their shoulder is angulated forward, further compromising the function of the shoulder, and advise and correct where possible those, um, those alterations. Look at the shoulder joint itself. Look at the bony structure of the shoulder joint itself and look to see if there's any structural uh, adjustment that we can uh, deliver to the shoulder itself to help the shoulder uh, either sit in a different type of alignment or move differently in conjunction with working on the neck. And finally, we also can work through the muscles. So working on the muscles would be the hands-on working on the muscles, uh, which is usually a little bit painful as we do it, but really beneficial, and also guiding people on what to do when you're dealing with a shoulder issue. And I'm going to cover three really simple little exercises that you can do yourself if you are starting to deal with a little bit of a nagging shoulder, you're wondering, oh, what's going on, what can I do? You can start to do a couple of things which I believe will help you. And look, even if even if you haven't gone to see someone, you're not 100% what, uh, sure what's going wrong, doing these little exercises won't cause you any harm anyway. Really what I am suggesting you do is if this is the affected painful shoulder, hold it by the side of your body straight down on the upper arm and your lower arm uh, at 90 degrees. Use your opposite hand to uh, almost clap against this hand like you're clapping and use this strong arm, the unaffected arm, to hold your uh, the, the affected arm in its position but as you're trying to move the affected arm across your body. So this is stopping this hand from doing that. So I'm pushing into this hand with this one. If this wasn't here, this hand would go across and hold that for a count of 10 and repeat it three times. Then the other one to do is exactly the same, except well, the opposite direction. So you hold this hand across the back of the palm and this hand, the affected arm, will be pushing outwards, but this hand is stopping it from moving that direction. Again, hold it for a count of 10 and repeat it three times. And the final one is the arm by your side, if it was gonna go in this direction, but we use this hand across your elbow to stop your arm pushing out from your body. So if this hand wasn't here, my arm would go up. This hand is stopping my arm leaving the side. Hold for a count of 10, repeat three times. So those exercises are interesting because they're isometric or resistive exercises. They're not allowing any movement of the shoulder, but they're actually exercising the muscles of the shoulder. And that's a really important type of exercise to do at the point in time where your shoulder is actually bothering you. So to summarize this, shoulder issues are common. They commonly come from repetitive uh, postures and repetitive movements. If we're gonna deal with the shoulder issue, you are much better off to look upstream of it as well, which is uh, something that a chiropractor will always do. You often need work done on your shoulder, in the shoulder joint, around the shoulder muscles. There are certain exercises to do. And also, the final thing, a bit of a downer to finish on, they take a long time to get better, but look, hey, that's just the human body. If we're dealing with the human body in a natural manner, it can take quite a long time for certain areas to respond and heal to its maximum potential. 
the shoulder is one of those areas. But don't despair if you've got some shoulder issues. They will eventually, in most cases, go away. It can just be a patient's game and seeing the right person to help. So I hope this has helped you and uh, have a great day.